love with Pat's two cents. Here to talk again about power and what interferes with power. I remember years ago when I had to pull over and a guy helped me lifted up my hood and he looked at my battery and he had me look at it and there was all this goop. Now he was not a mechanic, but he was handy with cars and he knew how to change a battery. So he was showing me all the goop and all of the uh, the residue that it collected around the, um, I don't know what you call those, the connector bolts at the top of the battery. And when he lifted and showed me all of the corrosion, that was mm, the corrosion around, you know, the point of connection. And he had to clean off the corrosion as much as possible in order to try to jump the battery and hope it would at least get me to the point where I could buy a new one. Well, it was so corroded and the battery had lost so much power that it was not going to do any good. He tried. And he told me, he said, you need a new battery. And sometimes when we say we walk with the Lord, when we say we love the Lord, God is good, we give him our praises, we brag on him. We associate ourselves with him. We don't realize that the things we allow in our lives, the things we allow ourselves to do in life, brings corrosion. And before we know it, it's not a long period of time, the circuitry between us and God becomes corroded. It deteriorates. And there are a lot of interferences with the circuitry. And then we wonder why we don't have power when we need it. We wonder why we can't resist temptation when it comes because the power source is being cut off, is being hindered because we have allowed so much corrosion in our lives. I ask you this, what are you allowing in your life? What happens if your child or someone you love, whoever that may be, adult or young. What happens if their life is at stake, if they are in an emergency situation, you can't get help to them quick enough and all you have at your disposal is prayer. Can you get a prayer through? Can you rebuke demons and bind demons and bind violence and bind down murder and shut it down in the name of Jesus and have it happen to protect them? Do you have the power to ask God to dispatch angels to send protection, to send interference? To do, what, do you have a connection strong enough to get your prayers answered, boom, right on the money? when you need it. You don't need the prayer answered tomorrow in the sweet by and by. You need this prayer answered now. Faster than the speed of light. Do you have the connection? Do you? I'm leaving you with that question. I'm not going to answer it. I'm not going to explain it. This is a question you need to ask God for yourself. Lord, do I have the right connection with you? Or have I allowed our relationship to corrode 